another athlete has been found guilty of insulting everybody's intelligence. Zane Robertson, a Commonwealth medalist, tested positive for EPO, which he claimed was given to him in Kenya when he was expecting to be given a COVID-19 vaccine. As if the Kenyan doctors thought he was such a threat to Eliud Kipchoge that they needed to do whatever they could to get him out of the way, apparently. It was a lame excuse and Robertson has been banned for eight years, although he has now retired from competition anyway, so we won't be seeing him again anytime soon. But it was hardly the first time an athlete has used an unusual excuse to try and get out of a doping ban. In April 2010, LeSean Merritt was given a drug ban at a point where he was world and Olympic champion in the men's 400 meters. He then had a choice, take a lengthy ban or admit what you had done with a really embarrassing excuse. Now, before I give you the check, one more question. Uh, this place, Moe's, you left just before the accident, this is a business of some kind? Don't tell them you were at a bar. It's a pornography store. I was buying pornography. He chose the admission, and the world now knows that the reason LaShawn Merritt failed a drugs test is because he was using an over-the-counter penis enhancement product. Merritt later said it was a foolish, immature, and egotistical mistake, and he was humbled. On the subject, if you know what, Dennis Mitchell failed a drug test in 1998, but claimed his testosterone levels were what they were because of just that. James Hunt would approve. It was her birthday, the lady deserved a treat, he told the IAAF, but the sports governing body took a dim view and he was banned for two years. To be fair to Mitchell, literally the same excuse got Spanish race walker Daniel Plaza off the hook in 1996. His high nandrolone levels could apparently be explained by having some wild nights of his wife. So he was allowed to get away with it, whereas Mitchell was not. If Javier Sotomayor did get lucky in 1999, it wasn't his given excuse when he failed a drug test. Instead, the Cuban blamed a plot by the CIA or the anti-Castro mafia. I'm not joking, but Castro himself got involved and, perhaps to try and avoid igniting some kind of new Cold War, the IAAF backed down leaving Sotomayor to score a place in the Sydney Olympics where he won silver. While I do not condone the use of performance enhancing drugs on this channel, I would say that if you are needing an excuse, it does help to have the backing of a tyrant who runs a secretive state.